In for review today, I have the Tomo V62 Intelligent Charger. This is a charger that I bought off eBay. It's quite an inexpensive charger and it has micro USB charging, so you have to provide your own USB port to use the charger. Quite a simple unit, two slots, they're both independent. And at the top here, you see you have the two LEDs for the status indicators. On the back, it gives you some of the information about the charger. The charging speed is rated to 400 milliamps an hour per port. Also note that it charges AA nickel metal hydrides um, and lithium batteries too. They're listed at the bottom which cells it takes from the 18650s down to the smaller ones. On the top part all you have is the micro USB port. Now the build quality on this feels pretty good. It was only about five pounds or just under I think. Um, so I can't really complain about the construction of the charger. It sort of feels okay in the hand. It doesn't feel sort of weedy or it's going to fall apart or anything like that. What I've done is using my own cable now, charge optimize. Once you power it on you'll get both LEDs flicker and if there's nothing in the charger it will, they'll just stay off. Once you get a cell, I've got a Uniros AA here which I'll insert. You'll see the charging light come on, it's red, flashes red when it's charging. Each channel is independent, so if you insert another cell, you can use a different type of battery. Lithium, I'll put one in here to 18650. We have the two batteries charging. Once the charging is complete, we have the left sides done here. The light turns to green, that tells you it's finished. The other side is still charging. Now one thing I noticed looking at this was the charging current and times were a bit unusual. Um, it's using pulse charging, you'll see the amp go up and down shortly. Um, that's fine for nickel metal hydride batteries, that's a good pulse charging, is a good method for charging. It isn't a good method of charging for lithium ion batteries and it uses a trickle charge afterwards. I also found that the charging was under charging the batteries significantly up to about 40-50%. This is a protected 18650 cell, one of the good quality ones from Claris, 3400 milliamps an hour, and it doesn't fit. Um, you try and put it in and there isn't enough space to fit the battery in, you just can't fit it in properly and I don't want to damage this cell obviously because it's quite an expensive one for a battery. So the charger isn't really any good for protected 18650 cells. It's fine for the unprotected or smaller ones. And that is a major oversight really for the sake of three or four millimeters extra space. Um, that kind of limits the usefulness of the charger really, which is a shame because it can charge nickel metahydrate and lithium and some of the chargers are just either. Um, summary and conclusion with this, unfortunately there were way too many problems. I liked the fact that it was cheap and the micro USB connection is useful and the charging speeds are okay. The problems are the slot size, uh, pulse trickle charging and it undercharges the batteries as well. So unfortunately this is a charger that I personally wouldn't recommend. I'd spend a bit more, get something a bit better quality.